Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy Friday. It is Friday. Um, just made my coffee. It is August, what is it? August what? I don't even know. I only have 18 days left to go to Florida. That's all I know because I screwed myself up here with the counter. Anyway, mm. it's August 19th. That's it. And the reason why I say it's August 19th, because this happens to me the morning after the um, world-renowned purchasing of the Disneyland Magic Key packages, because that actually started yesterday morning. I guess congratulations are in order to people who do have it, and so sorry to people who didn't make it in. Um, remember, it was only for renewals. There are no outsider first timers able to purchase this. I also heard if there was anything left, they, they would like to make a decision, Disney, um, if there was anything left, uh, then outside people will actually be able to make a purchase at that, that time but that has to be announced that was never announced yet and you know what you know what's coming it ain't going to be announced because it's probably going to be sold out do these things have a habit of selling out yeah they do um you know if you went for it fine <clears throat> you know people tend to get caught up in it and that's your prerogative um and this is why this company is the way it is. Now, he mentioned Chappick during a um, little uh, press interview or press conference, he mentioned a word. I think it's funny, but he kind of took a stab at the Californians, at the West Coasters. And this is again, the West Coast versus the East Coast. Even though, you know, this company is two different sides, you know, there's a lot of parks, there's a lot of countries, you know, involved in this. You got France with their their Disney World, and you got, you know, Japan with their Disney World. Um, he called Disneyland, he called Disneyland unfavorable attendance mix. For those of the unfavorable attendance mix. Now, just step back and think about that for a minute. I think it's funny, but it's not funny because it's technically he insulted you. You people could be standing right in front of him and he would say that. You probably would go, there were some people that were actually insulted on it. Yeah, and, and you should be. But anyway, he raised the prices. So he just insulted you. And to throw gas on the fire, he, he raised prices again. So, I mean, and you people are the ones that, you know, are paying for it. Unfavorable attendance mix. Now, we could take that a few ways. I know I can, because I sit and I analyze things. Um, unfavorable ten attendance mix. What he is, what, well, let me, let me put it this way. Let me figure out what... I or what many of us could actually think that that means. Unfavorable tendons mix. The word riffraffs, I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned that the other day. I think I did. You know, keeping the riffraffs out. My mom and dad used to say that phrase. It's an older phrase for the, for the old, more older generation. Keep the riffraffs out. I thought he was kind of raising the prices. Now, this is my intake on it. He was kind of raising the prices to keep the riffraffs out. So what you're saying is people that can't afford it, they get to stay out. So to me, that's an insult right there on people who work very hard and can only afford Disneyland once a year. It makes it their annual trip once a year. Then you got for the, you know, and besides keeping the riff riffs out, maybe you just want, you know, maybe less trouble, less fights, less, less stirring the pot of, uh, you know, causing problems in the parks, you know, those kind of people. And see, that's what I'm taking it. I'm taking it that way. 
So maybe you raise the prices for spite. That's what I'm thinking. Now the other ones, of course, the Californians. I had watched. I'm trying. I was trying to watch a, quite a few YouTube videos last night on seeing if they actually got in to purchase the tickets. There was no videos up there about it. There were only videos that were talking about the um, date of them going on sale. So maybe those videos will be uploaded today. I'm, I'm interested to find out all the. Um, oh well, we did it. We got our keys. Yeah, yeah. You know. Meanwhile, you all complained. Unfavorable attendance mix. What Chappic, now I'm going to tell you what he actually referred to uh, using these words. He actually referred to the Disney parks at Disneyland because there's only two parks that are involved in Disneyland and the shopping center. Is the reason that people that are coming to the parks are a little bit more relaxed. And I'm trying to put this into nicer words. They're a little bit more relaxed. They are not actually participating in the merchandise purchasing. So not enough merchandise is being bought down there, uh, over there. But yet that's why Disney World with the four parks and the tourist, it's more basically a tourist attraction. That is the reason why Disney World is doing so well. So he took a stab at California for that reason. That's what he was saying, because there was not enough purchasing in California, because it's mostly a, what do you call it? It's not even a tourist attraction. I, I would consider it a tourist attraction. I've never been there to Disneyland. I've always wanted to go to Disneyland, because if it wasn't for Walt Disney and Disneyland, we wouldn't have Disney World. That's how I see it. And that's an honor. But um, he's taking a jab at them, because they are not participating enough in the purchases of souvenirs. I guess not taking enough participation in the food. I, it just, it's just merchandising, the merchandising aspect. You're just walking into the park and people go to Disneyland after dinner. I mean, it's just that type of thing. There's a lot of people that live really, really close to Disneyland. It is not, no way compared um, to Disney World. This is what he was actually saying. Crap it. Bob Crap it. I renamed him. Bob Crap it. My words, people. I should have, I should have that patent. But anyway, um, <laughs> so Bob Crap it came out with that one. Um, yeah, but to be called unfavorable. But meanwhile, everybody ran out, I'm sure, to get the, to get the keys anyway, to, uh, hop on their computers. Now, there was a whole big disclaimer on there as well, and I will post that to my Instagram. I took a screenshot of it. I will post it. Because of the fact that the one lawsuit is happening, and it's still happening, um, they came out with all this disclaimer that you cannot sue and that you agree to do this. And by purchasing this, you're agreeing with the Walt Disney Company to do this. And they, oh, you just locked yourselves in. Don't you people read before you hit continue? So um, I also know that the um, uh, magic keys yesterday were done by virtual queue. <laughs> how, how did that go for you? How did that go for you? Now I'm taking a stab at the Californians only because you people bought into this. Now there is no unity because if there was unity, everybody would actually basically feel the same way. They took away, they, 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 just the fact that you cannot go to that park whenever the hell you feel like. You should be able to go to that park every day. Pass holders can't even do that. What is the deal? Who the hell is telling you you can't do something? You're paying $1,600, but yet you still can't do what you want. You can't even go on the holidays. What what part do, didn't you understand about this? See, to me, I would forget it. I would want the best bang for my buck. You can keep your Disney Plus 20% or 10% off. You can keep that. Um, parking is seems to be a big issue down uh, over there. I keep saying down there because I'm thinking of Florida. But parking seems to be a big issue on the West Coast for, for them. So they were actually um, 
happy about that. There is one parking lot, however, they did give you a certain percentage off that, I don't know, nobody seems to like that parking lot. I don't know if it's the Toy Story parking lot that everybody kind of frowned upon, but you know what? Well, you know what? You're bought into it anyway, so, you, you know, it's part of your package. Um, see, then don't complain. So, um, <coughs> and I just found it just odd that the higher tier, higher, the new package, the higher tier alone, $1,600, and you still ain't getting what the hell you really, what you really should be getting, okay? It's not, it's not a point of what you want. It's a point of what you should be getting. The unlimited photo pass. I heard somebody yesterday on one of their vlogs, they, you know, well, you know what, how many photos do you do? We really don't, we really didn't need that. Well, for people who come into the park, maybe you're bringing in a friend or maybe you're bringing in a family member. Um, of course, they have to pay, but be while you get in with your magic key. But they get into the park, maybe, you know, you can use your photo pass for them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're, they're new to the park. You know, th things like that. 15% uh, off of food purchases. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if pass holders here on the East Coast have that because I don't have a pass holder. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's issues. There's issues. I, I don't know if one side thinks like the other side or if the other side even cares what the other side is doing. West Coast versus East Coast. I mean, you're all a Disney fan. But I could see that the Disney World people, and I looked yesterday on the um, Disney World Facebook pages that I'm a part of, not really any mentioning about no magic key or anything. They're basically just worried about themselves. It's like, I told you, this is a, you know, it's a company divided. I think that maybe it would be hard to do when anything is possible. Could it have been done to where both parks east coast and west coast could they have had the same type of um packages so that this way nobody's in favor of somebody else's package you understand what well, well how come they got it and i didn't or how come they got it we didn't you know i'm waiting for that it's gonna happen somebody somebody's gonna say something because just up here alone in the East Coast, I told you the pass holder packages, the new pass holder packages will not have the water parks included or fa or photo pass. You guys are gonna have to pay for that separate. That's what I'm saying. They got it unlimited, the photo pass, and you guys aren't. So that it's, it's, it's ooh, I see trouble brewing, you know? Um. Everybody should have stuck together, but of course, there is no unity. No unity. And not even unity, there's no unity even among the fans. No unity even among the guests. Everybody should have just stuck together. Well, anyway, during um, one of the vlog um, uh, postings that I watched. I mean, you know, they were complaining about it, but yet, see, they flipped the dime. They were complaining, but they flipped the coin, and but they're complaining, but yet they're going to purchase the key anyway, and they were going for the higher one, which is the sixteen hundred. I wonder, I wonder if they got it. So that's why I'm trying to keep an eye on who gets what. You know, um, they were insulted. People said, "Well, you know what? It was it, 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 a lot of people got insulted, but you know, he really didn't mean it in that way." So you know what? So you're trying to convince yourself is what you're trying to say. See, it all depends on how everybody takes it. Everybody should have took it one way. What did that bald-headed son of a biscuit say? That's what you should have said. But you know, none of you did that. I mean, you complained about it. You you smirked at it a little. Yeah, the insult was there, but you know what? Nah, I don't think he meant it that way. Yeah, he did. It was an underlining, it was an underlining insult. That's what I call that. Because the person that you're insulting, you say it to them, <coughs> excuse me, you say it to them and they have absolutely, they are uh, clueless that you actually even insulted them. It went right over their head. That's the impression that I got. I caught it right away. But it's a shame. And that's it. So I wonder, everybody today, the morning after, there's got to be a morning after. Um, how did everybody wake up this morning? 
broke or just another bill on your credit card that's a shame you know because even if even if it was 135 i think it's was 132 a month or something because they let you pay in installments like i said <clears throat> isn't that adorable but again you still can't go to the park whatever you want me i would <clears throat> i would expect to go on the holidays that would be my thing i would expect to go on the holidays but you can't but you can't you can't you could probably go in as what I consider a civilian. I make up all these terms on my own. You go in as a civilian, like you would purchase a ticket without using your magic key for that holiday. You just want to go to the, the park uh, around Christmas for one day. You probably won't even be able to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you people think about it? My West Coast, I know I have some people over there on the West Coast, some friends, some hi. Good morning, everybody. Um, did you guys get your magic keys? There was a virtual queue. Uh, I think the virtual queue that they would have it at the, the the waiting time was like an hour, and I also took a screenshot of that. Um, I took a screenshot of the disclaimer, and I want to know if anybody got kicked out, if anybody didn't really didn't get in, you know, just on your renewals, you know, because there was no guarantee on this. Now, if you had wanted your renewal and you could not get in, how did you go about it? What happened to you on that? What, how do you feel? How does that make you feel if you were left out in the cold? Or in this case, out in the heat. Let me know your views on that. Well, I'm going to finish my coffee and start my day. All right, people. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. God bless you. Be safe out there. It's going to be hot today. I have my door open. It's, it's going to be hot. Yesterday, I went to the pool. It was great. Took my change of clothes for the first time. They have showers over there. I took my shower over there, changed my clothes real fast, and then I was ready for the rest of the day. So that wasn't that wasn't bad. All right. Take care. God bless. Love to all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.